Hey guys, welcome back to uh, World Mechanics guys. Today a quick video guys to some of you that need to register a salvage car. Particularly, we have a video, this video is for uh, registering a salvage car in California. We did register in Oklahoma, Kansas and other states as well. We will have that video on our repair guys. So, as you know guys, that Elantra that we are putting together, we still need to do a few things on it. Okay, like the phone bumper, we need to fix that. We'll show you how to blend paint as well. But, it's ready. And, uh, since we moved to California, guys, I had exactly no idea what to do with the salvage title. Oklahoma, Kansas, I was really good with it, but here it's the first time we did that. So, I'll just walk you through some of the steps and what to expect when you register a salvage title. Oh, okay, you guys, so next thing that you need to do you have to make sure that you keep every every receipt that you have for all the parts that you purchase so we can prove where the parts come from because sometimes they will ask you to do that to make sure that it didn't come from a stolen vehicle that the part is new or it came from a salvage yard that you, it can be tracked so keep all the receipts another thing you need them for is you will need to prove how much you have in repairs okay and that includes your labor as well even if you did it, you have to calcula calculate your label so you can pay uh, extra extra tax because the car will be a little bit more expensive. But you have to be honest about it and have to keep every receipt, guys. Don't forget to do that. And you take the title, you take the purchase agreement, bill of sale, you take the receipts, go to the DMV. And the funny thing, you don't even need to have the car with you the first time. They start the paperwork and they're going to tell you what you need. They're going to give you a piece of paper start the transaction, pay more, most of the fees that day and you have 30 days to collect everything else. They will just to show you what the, uh, what the checklist look like and what to do next. Okay guys, and this is the list that we have right here. You can see what we need to do first. It's uh, the official brake and light adjustment test, smoke test and you take the car to the DMV for vehicle identification. So that was, uh, that's pretty simple guys, it sounds really complicated but we found a place where we live, smoke test, brake and lamp, uh, official brake and light adjustment test, all together will cost only $124, we'll, we'll go to that in a little bit, so stay with us, we haven't done that yet, but we called and we'll go ahead and see how actually it goes. And after that we're gonna head to the DMV, but what's cool about it is, okay let me show you. Actually what happened is uh, when you go to the DMV, even though that you didn't take the car with you, they'll give you, if it's out of state, a 30 day tag. Okay, you can see a 30 day tag that you can drive the car so you can go do your tests and all that stuff. So stay with us and we'll see what else we need to do today. Okay guys, so as you know, we have to take it for the lamp, uh, lamp inspection, brake inspection and smoke test. And out of those three, okay, we passed only one, the smoke test, because it's pretty new vehicle, so it didn't, doesn't pollute at all, uh, everything's good with the catalytic converter, so we passed the smoke real easy. The other two, we failed, and this is because our third brake light right here, the bulb is burned and we passed the lamp, lamp inspection certificate. So, we failed there. Another thing why we failed for the brake inspection. Front brakes are only at 15% while left rear are at 10% and we should have checked that before we went so we were not gonna waste our time but we didn't. That's our mistake. So, uh, the guy also said the front rollers need to be replaced because they're too thin. Okay, so we are guys going to go ahead and get rollers for the front, the back and pads actually all the way around, fix the light and go back and see uh, see if we can do it this time. He said the re-inspection, really cool guy by the way, really cool guy, nothing sponsored here but he's helped us quite a bit. He said the re-inspection is free, he'll just check the brakes to make sure we replace them, fix the bulb and he'll give us the certificate. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that now. 
Okay guys, this is the brake rollers. We, we replace the brakes, we put new brakes. You can see those are the front ones. Okay, too thin on the inside. I don't blame the guy for being honest, the rear ones. We replace them as well, even though he said that we don't have to, we, we went ahead and did that as well. So we put new brakes, new pads. Okay, let me show you the pads. Okay, they were practically almost done. So he was right, he didn't take our money guys. That guy was pretty, pretty honest guy. So uh, that's what I like about jobs like that, that they won't lie to you just to get your money. He didn't even offer to do the job. He said just get it done and come back and we'll reinspect it for free. You can see the shiny new rollers, the brakes. Okay, the rear and the front as well. So you can definitely tell that they've been replaced. So I recommend doing that guys. Check your brakes before you go for brake inspection. Okay guys, so we took it for the inspection. It passed everything with absolutely no problem the second time. It didn't cost us anything. The guys gave us the certificates. We went to the DMV. They checked the VIN number on the door. Uh, they checked the VIN number on the, on the dash and uh, on the chassis as well. So the paper tag, we don't need it anymore because we got, we got the metal plates, no, the metal tags, permanent tags, perfect. So that was it guys, it was, it was super easy to be honest with you. The first time we went through registering a California salvage title, but it wasn't too complicated at all. I had all the receipts to prove that we did the repairs, but they didn't even want them this time. I don't know why they asked how much we spent for repairing the vehicle. I was honest about that, so we'll just go ahead and install the plates now. So, just a quick informative video guys if you're going through that stage of your life so thank you guys for watching please subscribe and let's grow the channel together